Ciao, Lofa, Lava, Michael. Hey, Francis. How are you, sis? I'm good, thank uh, you. Good to see you. And it's that time of the year now, Michael. Yep. You're talking about NCA, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know what we're like as island parents, we get a bit... A little bit okay. nervous too, eh? A little bit eh? nervous and anxious. Bit the expectation and I suppose for us too, it's it's making sure we understand, you know, what does that mean if you get a mirror and an excellence, you know, the different sort of levels. It is so different to back in our day, eh? That's right. Remember old uh, school C? You remember those days? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty straightforward, eh? Like you just got your results, you either passed or failed, eh? But it's, it is a bit different now with NCA, yeah. yeah. It is a lot different. I found the Cruise New Zealand website is really good. It's, it's really informative. How are you feeling about opening up that NCA result? Michael, to be honest, I know the theory. I, I knew yeah. in my head to be patient sure. and calm. <laughs> but last year when my daughter opened up her results for year 13, yeah. she missed UE by one credit. I lost it a bit. And, and that does happen. I mean, sometimes they exceed, but sometimes they fall short. And um, that's what I found. We just, as parents, we just got to really sit down with them and have, sometimes it's a hard chat too, uh, you know, like what do we have to do, what's the strategy to, okay, this is where you're at, but how do we get, you know, we just want them to fulfill their potential, right? Absolutely. It is a bit of a journey and it takes maybe a year or two to find out really what are the best subjects and sometimes they're doing subjects that they might not even enjoy. Uh, mm. and so I think I'd have to ask the right questions, be really honest and ask, is, is that really the subjects you want to do? And I think in our education system, it's never too late. I think you can move into another, you know, sort of subject area. As long as we know they're giving it their best and, and for us, we're putting everything we can around them to help them succeed. That's all we can ask for. And we've just got to accept that, you know, that, that what it is what it is. Michael, when do you think is a good time to have um, a conversation with our children about their interests, their careers and yeah. for the future? I think it's never too early. I, I really think that you can have that conversation at any time. We have um, certain things that we expect them, but what do they really want to do too? You know, we've got to understand they're all unique and they're all different and they've got different things that excite them and you know that they're passionate about and that might not always be what you and I want <laughs> but yeah. but I had to again just having that talano having that conversation because the conversation can happen right through yeah. so you and it's know, always changing. year 12 it might make more sense but it can happen prior to that yep yeah. I think the earlier you have those conversations the better absolutely and encouraging them all yeah. the time oh, yeah number one just we're their biggest supporters, eh? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. we're the, the big uh, cheerleaders for them, and, and that's what we just got to keep doing, just be there, just cheer them on. Thank you, Michael. I think those are really awesome tips. Hey, quick question. <laughs> what did you get for school C? Oh, sick, yeah. Ah, ah, <laughs> number one. <laughs> As a parent or a student, we all have questions about NCEA, but you're not alone. If you need more information, please call us on 0800 222 733 or visit our website careers.govt.nz